gotten kind of a preview of this closing ceremony. It's kind of campy. It's much less formal than an opening ceremony, as all closing ceremonies are. That's Katrina LeMaydon, who was the torchbearer who had to wait and wait, along with Steve Nash and Wayne Gretzky, wait and wait, but it was her arm that failed to come up mechanically, and so she was the one that was left standing, holding the bag, so to speak, so they brought her back. That's beautiful. She's, and, and they all had to, as I say, improvise. They didn't know what was happening. Even Gretzky said, he said, you know, we thought this was something that they hadn't rehearsed with us, and we would be surprised too, but they handled it with a plum, and now she finally gets her turn. Katrina LeMaydon, gold medal speed skater in Salt Lake, one of the final four torchbearers, and gets to do the honors here. This is perfect, just a perfect response. Let the games begin or end with a flourish. <laughs> this ceremony's artistic director is David Atkins, who also put together the opening ceremony. Part of the theme, as always, is the transferring of the hosting duties from the present Olympic City to the next. So in this case, winter to winter, Vancouver to Sochi, Russia, which will host 2014. David got a take two. And made it count. <laughs> Goodbye, Katrina. Mesdames et messieurs, 